Hi everyone, hope you can see me okay. I've tried to adjust the light today because I'm kind of by the window. I'm on my settee in the living room and it's a bit of a dull autumn day here in the UK. So I thought I'll do something totally different today. Um, what I'm going to do is for all our my friends overseas and in America, I thought because I love watching Halloween hauls from America and the amount of choice they have in America um, is amazing. So what I thought was um, not so much for UK viewers, but if you find this interesting, then, you know, all the better carry on watching but um, if you find it boring because this is what you see every day in the shops then you know you can always stop watching but I thought I would do it for the benefit of people that don't live in the UK um, I love watching candy hauls and cake hauls and stuff like that or Halloween spooky themed stuff from America so I thought I would do this for their benefit and kind of give them an insight into like what we get in the shops here over Halloween, Halloween themed candy and cakes. So I bought quite a few things in the shops that I've seen that have been kind of Halloween themed lately. Um, most of these things that I'm showing are from Morrison's and Asda when I did my online shop. Um, I've just been getting things as I, I, they've been coming into the shops pretty much because the Halloween stuff seems to have come in quite late this year. So I've had this hanging around for about a week or so, so I thought I really need to get this video done because I do have kids and one of these days I'm going to come home and half this stuff is going to be gone before I get to do the video. So I want to get the video done as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got here. So the first thing I've got and the biggest thing I bought was from Morrison's, was this amazing... Um, gruesome gingerbread house that I thought looked really really fun and it's good for um, half term coming up when the kids are off to give them something to do it's this spooky little gingerbread house they have them out kind of for um, at Christmas time and stuff but this is the first time I've actually seen them out um, kind of spooky themed for Halloween so I thought this looked really really scrummy um, it's got all the parts of the gingerbread house inside and it's got um, the orange icing to decorate it with and the all the little jelly sweets and stuff. So I just thought it looked really, really nice. It's got like little jelly black bats in it, um, little jelly sweets, um, black and orange icing in it. So it's got everything you need. It tells you the instructions on the back how to put it together, which I thought was really cool. Um, decorate your own house with spooky sweets. And that was five pounds, but I'm sure there's, it's gonna be quite a big gingerbread house. Um, I did actually put a Christmas one up, um, I think last year for somebody and I put it all together and then it just collapsed, which was a little bit, um, I don't know what happened. I probably didn't follow the instructions very good, but um, yeah, so I thought that was worth a um, go. So that's really, really good. I can't wait to do that with the kids over half term. And um, so the next things I've got, I've got this cauldron full of goodies here. So I haven't spotted so much um halloween themed sweets this year i've seen mostly like cakes and bars seem to be um more common in the supermarkets here in the uk um not a lot of halloween themed sweets i haven't seen this year um more bog standard sweets like you get all year round like the pick and mixes and haribos stuff like that but not a lot of halloween themed spooky sweets around but I've noticed there's a lot more cakes and bars, so that's what I'm going to kind of show you today. So these are new, and I spotted these the other day in Morrison's, which I thought were really, really nice. I haven't seen these before. They're like four flapjacks um, by Vitties, and they're the Hobnobs make there. These have just come out, especially for Halloween. 
um, four terrifying toffee apple flapjacks so I thought they looked really really nice and what grabs me is the bright orange and green packaging here I absolutely love it um, these have just come out um, they're probably just going to be out for kind of Halloween so I take it they're just like an OT flapjack with like caramel as they usually kind of are syrupy and then with kind of probably bits of apple in it and then they've got like little drizzles of chocolate on them as well so I thought they looked really really nice and I thought they would be good for like packed lunches and stuff as well so and they were pounds for four as I said they were in um, Morrison's when I went shopping so they had um, a pack of two different ones here so the other one from McVitie's these are digestives there in this uh, pink and purple kind of packaging which look really really nice uh, again they're like squares but they're like the um, tiffin so they've got like digestive at the bottom or bits of digestive in actually I'm going to take them out and show you because because the packaging is so bright it's really difficult to see kind of like what they are inside so I'm just going to have a look they're called four beastly bakes in here so that is what they look like in the packaging so they're like little squares they're covered in chocolate and then they've got the bit of biscuit inside the digestives are inside the chocolate mixed in with the chocolate chocolate covered with like little green and purple sprinkles on top so they look quite nice so that's those two again these were from Morrison's and they were a pound for four and I just like the packaging with the cauldron on and the little bat wings and all the hubble bubbles coming out of the cauldron and stuff I thought were like really really fun so the next lot I bought was the Mr Kipling here um, his eight fiendish fancies so um, I just love the orange and black box here with the little pumpkins on so they're um, orange um, fancies the usual fancies we get over here they're very small they're kind of sponge at the bottom and usually like a fondant cream on the top that's what they look like in the pack they're very small and then they're covered in um, orange icing with like a drizzle of like milk chocolate on the top so they're like individually wrapped so you get eight in there and that's what they look like they always have this like little bump on the top because that's the fondant kind of on the top there I'll just show you what they look like So you've got the sponge at the bottom and then the fondant on the top. They don't really taste as much. They taste orange, but I think it's from the icing on top. So they're very sweet. I, have, I find the fancies very sweet and a little bit sickly. So I don't usually buy fondant fancies, but because they were like... Halloween ones I thought I would get them and again I think these were a pound I can't remember I think they were a pound though and then the next things I got was I'll do the other things that were Mr Kipling as well they're quite a popular kind of make of cake and cake slices over here in the UK <clears throat> they do lots of different ones um so these ones are the um, six terrifying toffee whirls again in this beautiful um, brownie yellow orangey box with a spooky cat there a spooky tree little bats um, cobwebs in the background which was really really nice and again on the back with a little cat so these are light shortcake swirls filled with a toffee flavor buttercream and toffee sauce which sounds really nice 
usually the normal ones um, we get are um, usually the shortcake and then it's filled with um, usually jam and cream in the middle. So these ones are toffee and buttercream in the middle. So you get six in there and again I think these were about a pound. These were nearly all a pound each for these like cakes and stuff. So that's what they're like in the middle. They have um, like a but buttercream in the middle sandwiched together um, and these have got like a butterscotch sauce with the buttercream as well. Um, so yeah, so I thought they looked really, really nice. So I just put those back. And then the next thing I got was these, um, actually I've got two more um, McVitty things. There's a lot of McVitty, um, they've really gone all out on the Halloween this year, McVitty. They've done lots of different kinds of lines on Halloween cakes and stuff. So these are a take on the Jaffa cakes. For those of you who don't know what Jaffa cakes are, I'm sure everyone knows what Jaffa cakes are. Um, I don't know if you have Jaffa cakes in America, but they're like um, a weird kind of take. They're a mixture between a biscuit and a cake. They're like a dense sponge at the bottom. And then they have like this jelly orange um, filling in the middle. And then they're coated in this quite dark, bitter, thin layer of chocolate. So these are a take on the Jaffa Cakes. These are Jaffa Cake bars. And again, amazing packaging there. So these are, you get five, and they're lemon and slime cake bars. Again, I thought these would be perfect for kids' lunch boxes to take to school because they're all individually wrapped and they just look really, really cool. So you've got this lovely green... Um, packaging um, with potion bottles on it, eyeballs, worms, toads, um, cobwebs. So I thought that was, they were really, really cool. Um, I'll just get one out. Again, these were a pound. I think these were from Asda. Um, so again, this is what they look like in the pack. Same as the packaging on the front. Really cool little bars there. Perfect for pack lunches. And it says, they actually does say trick or treat. So you could put them in like trick or treat bags as well. When kids come around trick or treat in. They're just a the perfect little like snack size. And these are similar to the Jaffa Cakes. The original Jaffa Cakes as we know them. If you can see the picture there, that is what they look like. So basically, they're like a light sponge at the bottom. These have got like a lemon and lime like um, kind of filling on the top. And then with like a, I'm not sure if these are going to be dark chocolate or whether they're going to be um, milk chocolate. Let's see if it says on them. Um, yeah, dark chocolate light sponge with a zingy lemon and lime flavoured centre so that is what they look like so they look really really nice and then the other flavour they had in exactly the same bars were these um McVitie's Jaffa Cakes these look more like the original Jaffa Cakes because they're like usually like blue and orange right in there by McVitie's again and these ones are five freaky cake bars. So these look really, really cool. So this is in like a bright orange and pink packaging with like octopus tentacles, millipedes, potion bottles again, a little um, cauldron with like little orange oranges and pink slime in it. And these cakes are... Um, looks like it's got like a purple sponge at the bottom and then like the original like jaffa cake orange kind of um jelly and then dark chocolate again 
a blend of dark crackly chocolate, purple sponge and smashing orangey centre. Yeah, so these again are um, a pound, I think again from Asda I got these, but they sell them in most supermarkets in the UK. Sainsbury's, Tesco, um, Asda, Morrison's. So yeah, they look really, really cool. Again, perfect for lunch boxes. I'll just show you what they look like inside. I think they're kind of the same as the other ones. Again, really cool packaging. The fitters have really gone to town for the Halloween. That's what we like to see. So yeah, that's the all the McVitie's range that I got. I think that was all the McVitie's range, yeah. Um, I'll show you the two Cadbury. Um, my cauldron is getting <laughs> empty now after all that's gone out. So the other thing I spotted, and these were Cadbury. So these are from Cadbury. Again, kind of cake bars. Um, along the lines of the McVitie's kind of Jaffa cake bars but these are a take on the Cadbury like mini rolls usually that we have like a little mini roll like a little mini Swiss roll with um, a chocolate sponge usually with um, a buttercream in the middle and then covered in like a thin layer of chocolate so they look like little mini um, chocolate logs so these are a take on those and they're mini bonfire logs um these are individually wrapped honeycomb flavor logs um and they've got a honeycomb flavor so i imagine it says these in here as well so i imagine these are out for kind of um, november -y time like bonfire night and stuff like that which are really cool so i'm just going to um take them out and show you so again they're like little individual bars perfect for lunch boxes and these are called bonfire logs um so i take it like in the middle where the buttercream would be it's got like a, a honeycomb flavor buttercream instead which is really cool and again these were like a pound for five so pretty reasonable and these by cadbury so they did have the um, pumpkin patch cakes as well. If you can see there, they do like little, little individual pumpkin patch cakes, which are really cool. They're like a, a, a mini little sponge cake with orange buttercream stripes in the middle, covered in a thin layer of chocolate. And then they have like a little chocolate orange pumpkin on top. I did get those last year. Um, but I didn't get any this year. I thought I would try the ones that I haven't tried before. So that's those from Cadbury. And then the only kind of sweets I got were these. Again, these are from Cadbury. I'm sure these are new this year. I'm not sure if they brought them out last Halloween. These again are by Cadbury. They're a take on the um, Cadbury's cream eggs that we get all year round for Easter and stuff. Um, and they've brought these out for Halloween. I love the packaging. I love the little gravestones in the background. And this is a six pack. No, a five pack, sorry. Um, they did do like little packets of sweets with these like little mini ones in, like individually wrapped, like a bag of sweets. Um, but I chose to get these. They're more like the Cadbury's cream egg size, I think. Um, and there's five in here. And I think this was £2, this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and open them because I've never seen kind of what they look like inside. So that is what they look like. <clears throat> so yeah, they're the same size as Cadbury's cream eggs. And all it is, is they're just like individually wrapped with different like little spooky characters on. So that one's like a little pumpkin. We've got that one. It looks like a little werewolf. We've got that one like um, Dracula. He's got a bit of a strange wonky face. Uh, that one like a little Frankenstein. And then that one like a little skull. So that's the five. So what does it say about these? I'm not sure if it says it got a description. 
So again, these you could use for trick or treating. They would be brilliant to put in um, treat bags um, for the kids when they come round. So I'm not too sure what it has got in the middle. I think I might need to try one. Let's try the little pumpkin one because I'm not sure what these got in the middle. They're called goo heads, but I don't know if they're exactly the same. They look exactly the same as a Cadbury's cream egg. I'm just trying to get to the middle. So I'm not sure if they've got it's a bit disappointing because I actually thought they were gonna be like a spooky colour in the middle, like maybe like an orange or um green or something so called goo heads but to be honest they're exactly the same as the Cadbury's cream egg but I think the only difference is they haven't got the yellow in the middle they haven't got like the yolk it's just white all the way through so yeah I thought they would have done something different in the middle of them but so that's the goo heads and they were two pound and then last but not least, i just move that over there. My cauldron is now nearly empty. And the last thing we have, which I haven't seen before, so I thought I would get these because I couldn't quite figure out what it was from the packet. So they look like Smarties by the writing. They're by Nestle. It's in this like little tear and share bag. And it's got like a little cute ghost on the front with a haunted house tree. And um, I think they're like Smarties, but instead of Smarties, they're called Scaries. So I thought I would see what they're like. So I'm going to open them up and see what they're like. Again, I think these are about a pound. So basically, they are like smarties. I'm not sure why they're called scaries because they're not very scary. So, all we have basically in here is like regular smarties, um, but the only difference being is they're in um, brown and orange. So yeah a little bit disappointing but you know i suppose they're kind of just putting the spooky colors in so yeah they're just like regular smarties so chocolate in the middle and then this kind of honey kind of um i'm not sure what you call it the um like honey coating shell on the outside so yeah that's the scariest so that is my cauldron empty um so yeah that is all my halloween candy and goodies that i got i hope you enjoyed this video i thought i would just do something totally different um that i don't usually do because there's there was a lot of like halloween cakes and bars and stuffs in the shops this year so i thought i would just do a little kind of cake haul um spooky cake haul candy haul for halloween so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give me any comments have you tried any of these things what's your favorites um what would you like to get um comments down below as usual give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye